All right, guys, gonna have a little look at this Traxxas Land Rover today, see what the hype's all about. All right. Check it out. you get in the box is well, I don't know what that is but you get that looks like some sort of a body mount maybe little tool kit body clips stickers destructions don't need that don't need that <laughs> Let's have a look what the actual travel's like. It's got a fair bit of articulation there. got these portal axles on it and what that does it gives you loads more ground clearance and some people call them drop boxes but basically if if you didn't have portal axles the center line of the axle would be in the center line of the wheel hub so, you, so your actual housing like your diff housing here that would that would be right down here somewhere so you get a massive amount of ground clearance I mean it is very realistic looking this thing I mean, from the outside, it looks very much like a scale truck. But when you take the lid off, underneath, that's where it doesn't look that similar anymore to a real life one. I mean, the proper ones, they don't have these portal axles. I mean, you can buy them as an upgrade on the real truck. But this one comes out of the box with them. And also, this comes with a proper four-link suspension setup by the looks of it. Or does it? No, it doesn't actually. There's no four link on the front. The front's got... How does it work on the front? You've got the two lower links. Then there's only one top link. And then, ah, it's got a panard rod. So that actually, hold on. So it's got a three link. It's got a three link system on the front. A bit like the Gone Too Far kit on a real Defender 90. Or Defender 110. If you look at a gone too far kit, that's how they work. So you've got your panard rod up here, look. This bar, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. This this bar here, that's your panard rod. Then you've got your steering link there. I mean, if you've got four link, then I suppose you're going to have to mount your steering servo on the axle. Otherwise you're going to start getting unwanted steering when you're going over rocks and stuff. So that's why they've done it like that. Whilst on the rear, we've got a full four link set up. We've got your two lower links, and then you've got your two upper links. And it's all triangulated, so that stops your axle moving up and down, left and right, stops it twisting. So it is a semi-scale. I mean, the suspension on the back is very similar to a proper Defender 90, or Defender 110. It's a 110, this one. But I think they've got a good balance here. They've tried to get performance and scalability and wrapped it all up in this awesome little package. 
All right, so let's have a little look under the bonnet. Or under the hood. All right, so we got a Titan 21 turn, 550 motor, reverse rotation. We've got these two little mini servos here. They look like the same ones that you find in, in your summit and they do your diff locks, which are cable operated. You see the cable running from here all the way down into the diff housing here. And we've got high and low gears as well, which is controlled by this servo here, I would have thought. This is the first time I've looked at this, guys. So I'm completely new to this. I know as much about this as you do so far, so I'm just sort of making it up as I'm going along. So this, I presume, is your... This must be the servo that does your high and low gearing. Then you've got an XL5 HV ESC. They can do 3S. So 3S LiPo this thing can do apparently. And then we've got coil over shocks. Steel ladder chassis that runs all the way from the back to the front. Just like the real one. <laughs> Tyres, they seem really quite grippy. They're quite spongy and elastic. This sort of thing wouldn't be any good on high speed stuff because the tyres would just balloon out like on this thing here. But for rock crawling and slow stuff, perfect. Right, let's see what battery we can find to run on this thing. So, I suppose this is the sort of battery that Traxxas recommend that you run it on, one of these two. But for that price, £60 for one battery, you could probably buy three or four Flurions easily. So what have we got laying around? Well, I've got these things laying around here. And these are what I normally run on this thing here. So that runs on two of them to make 6S. These are, these are good batteries. But they're still not that cheap. These are these ones here. I mean, these were about £45, but Flurion's just as good and, and under half the price. You can probably get three Flurion's for the price of this thing. Yep, so your standard 3S or 2S sort of hard case lipos are going to fit in there, but there's a bit more room in here. You can get something longer in by the looks of it. And I'm going to have to make an adapter. Alright, so here, I've made my little um, battery adapter so I can run standard type... Well, these are the connectors that I put in all my batteries, the XD90s, to handle the amps pretty well. So I've made this little adapter piece here, so I can convert from the Traxxas connector to this. But be careful though guys, if you're going to do this, you're going to void your warranty. So, bear that in mind. Alright, so we switch this on. And hit the on button. Alright guys, when you're running lipos, you've got to make sure that this little red, this little light here is on green. If it's on red, then you can only run nickel metals. And... It tells you on here how you've got to set it up. you just got to hold that down for 10 seconds, I think. And then it'll put it over to LiPo mode. So if you're running LiPos, make sure that's on green. Otherwise, what's going to happen? You're going to over-discharge your LiPos and you're going to kill them. So, with this switch, all the way to the left position, you've got fully open diffs, front and rear. Flip this over to the middle. And now you've got a locked front diff. And then you flick that over again, all the way over to the right. And now you've got all front and rear diffs are locked. This thing here, that's your high and low switch. All right, let's try it out. Locks, guys. Oh, check that out. We got stuff in the way, guys. We got shop stuff in the way. No, it's beached. 
To be fair, I don't think many crawlers are going to make it over there. Alright, when in doubt, air it out or go in flat out. So we put this into high range now. Alright, ready? Oh my good god. Hey, it's got a wheelie over. I'll tell you, this thing's pretty fast. Tell you what guys, that is surprisingly capable. Right, back into high range. Full test. Turning cycle on this. 
All right, so to get an idea of the size of it, here is my x -Max. I'll move that camera back a bit so you can see. All right, so here's a front view from x -Max and the Defender. Side view. All right, guys, so, so far, really chuffed with this thing. I mean, we're gonna have to take it out into the open and give it a proper blast out there. But I'm surprised it drifts, it, it crawls, it jumps. I mean, for a crawler, that's amazing. So, all right, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell button, the thumbs up button. You know what you gotta do, guys. All right, see you soon. <laughs>